Hello, I'm Alex Melzone, former Brother Rice quarterback and current University of Michigan quarterback, and you're Washington State Champs. Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. Hungry Howie's, your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Go to doughraiser.com for details. The Detroit Sports Commission, where champions are made and championships are played. Log on to DetroitSports.org. Our friends with the UAW and Chrysler, Pirani's Hockey and Lacrosse World. Over 20 Michigan locations. Go to lacrosseworld.com for info. We are back and better than ever. Thanks for checking out what took place this week in high school sports. We call this show State Champs. That's what you're aspiring to be, right? We're presented by Lawrence Technological University, the home of State Champs. We've got a lot to get to this week by way of highlights. Tons of spring sport action from around the state up ahead. Of course, the NFL draft was held this weekend. I caught up with kicker Kyle Brinza this week. Remember Kyle? His leg led Plymouth to the football state finals in 2010. Fresh off his career in Notre Dame, he hopes to be playing on Sundays this fall. Kyle Bogan shoots as a brand new recruit report. Sean Belisian has an update in our Piranis High School Lacrosse Player of the Year race. And Tom Markowski will be along too to talk about the best softball players in the state. You ready? Let's do this. The Roundup kicks us off. This is our division, this is our conference. That's what we're here to do. We are here to dominate. Let's go, let's have a good run. We begin with boys lacrosse. Clarkston on the road to take on Bloomfield Hills, OAA Red Conference matchup. Bloomfield Hills in white looking to beat Clarkston for the first time in a long time. Early action, the freshman Paul Machi tossed in three in the first half. Blackhawks led six to four at the break. Clarkston looking for their third straight win. Early in the second half, Mitch Prock finds a junior, Justin Dickerson, back in the net. Wolves trailed seven to five at this point. Bloomfield Hills came to play. Pair of juniors hooking up here. Jay Cook sees Scott Shepard, top shelfer. Blackhawks led eight to five going into the fourth. They wouldn't let up. The senior captain, Jimmy Montgomery, gets it to go. He finished with four goals on the night. Bloomfield Hills beats Clarkston for the first time in lacrosse in six years. We head to the OAA for some girls soccer action under the Thursday night lights between the Dragons from Lake Orion and the host Colts from Troy High. Senior Madison Ham got the Dragons on the board first. Then check out this perfect outlet by Ham to a hustling Jesse Reichenbach. She beats the defense and the keeper 2-0 Lake Orion at the half. Second half, and off the Megan Danielson corner kick, ricochets off a Troy defender and into the net. Dragons now with a 3-0 advantage. The 2013 Division I state champs Troy picked themselves back up via the penalty kick. Colts sophomore Leah Kosek finds the twine. But this was Lake Orion's night. The keeper, Caitlin Ruz, kept everything sent her way out of the net. Dragons win 3-1. Let's bring in Ryan Terpster now with more of the roundup. Thanks, Lauren. The Greater Muskegon Athletic Association City Meet saw some of the best area boys golf teams match up. We will start with the low man on the day, Muskegon Catholic's Colin Powers. Here on number one with a great up and down, the sophomore notched a 71 to claim medalist honors and help the Crusaders to a fourth place finish overall. Muskegon Reese Puffer was led by Ryan Coyman, who lines up and drains the long putt here on number three. Coyman finished with a 78 for the third place Rockets. North Muskegon finished runner up behind Will Myers in his 76. Myers actually played the back nine without shoes on due to blisters on his feet. Once again, it was the depth of Mona Shores that led them in this event. Glenn Kostelich shot 73, and the Sailors win their 16th city title in the last 17 years. 
to girls tennis, an OK Green match between Zeeland West and Holland Christian, who is ranked number four in Division Three. In first doubles, Rachel Stegerda serving for HC. Her partner Anna Bosgraf volleys back, and then Stegerda finishes it off as the Maroons win in straight sets. Moving to number two singles, Riley Verde of Holland Christian facing Nita Bergsma from Zeeland West. Bergsma with the high arcing return for the winner. Nice shot there. Verde would find her groove. Nice power backhand for the winner, and the junior gets another victory for Christian. Finally, in number one singles, Natalie Vanden Heuvel battling Taryn Eversey. Nice rally between these two, and finally, Eversey smashes the shot home. Holland Christian with a clean sweep of Zeeland West. They win eight to nothing. Now we head to the Lansing area and Kevin Gale. Thank you, Ryan. Top five Battle Royale in girls lacrosse. Number five, Okemos, hosting number three, Bloomfield Hills Marion. Late in the first half, Okemos junior Angela Palmer finds the twine. Chiefs take a two goal lead into the break. Second half, Claire Fisher behind the net. Not for long, rolls her way around, bounces it past the keeper. Marion cuts the Okemos lead to one. Five minutes later, game tied until Sarah Peterson turns on the Jets and rides solo for the goal. Marion takes a one goal lead. Okemos has an answer, Jamie Grosh. Fake out, then gets the shot to go. We're tied again, eight apiece. Exciting game, back and forth, down the stretch. Grace Bilby, she's a freshman, scores three goals in the game. Okemos leads again, 9-8 but too much Marion firepower in the closing minutes. Claire Kelly weaves in and out of defenders to put the Mustangs ahead for good. Bloomfield Hills Marion gets a top five road win, 13-11. That's the Roundup, I'm Kevin Gale. Well, we might as well call this a Michigan State football recruiting update as opposed to this week's recruit report. I'm Kyle Bogenschutz, Michigan State's spring football game, of course, a week ago, and it was a huge recruiting weekend for Mark D'Antonio and his coaching staff. It all got started with the commitment of 2016 quarterback Messiah DeWeaver, then over the next few days, Michigan State picked up four more verbal commitments. A couple of playmakers I want to point out first. We talk about Abdul Adams, 2016 running back out of Washington, D.C., 5'10", 5'11", in that 200 pound range, but this kid is a game breaker and a difference maker and adds a speed element to Michigan State's offense that could be key moving forward. You also want to point out Justin Lane, a young man out of Cleveland, Benedictine. He's a wide receiver, but this kid does kick returns, he does punt returns, he's a playmaker to be certain. 6'2", 180 pounds, he'll need to add some more weight, but those two could be dynamic up in East Lansing. Couple of others out of Cincinnati, Noah Davis, he's a tight end, 6'5", 230 pounds, and then also right there in that Cleveland area, linebacker Joe Bocci. So a nice haul for Michigan State as Mark D'Antonio kind of gets the ball rolling in that 2016 class. A little basketball recruiting update I want to mention. The number one player in the class of 2015, Jalen Brown, has narrowed his list to five schools. That would be California, Kentucky, Kansas, Michigan, and North Carolina. Of course, Michigan and John Beeline have one more scholarship left in that 2015 class. With this week's Recruit Report, I'm Kyle Bogenshoot. Hey State Champs fans, I'm Stephanie. Coming up next, Lauren catches up with a former high school football star trying to make it in the NFL. Does he have what it takes? Stay with us. At Lawrence Technological University, you'll go way beyond the books. Professors with real-world experience deliver hands-on instruction in small classes, helping students land co-ops, internships, and research projects. By graduation, 80% of LTU students have jobs or plans to pursue master's degrees. And most Lawrence Tech grads earn more than their peers. So if you're ready to embrace your possibilities, we want you at LTU. The Detroit Sports Commission Prep Kickoff Classic, presented by Tim Hortons Cafe and Bake Shop, returns to the campus of Wayne State University August 27th through the 29th with three days of action-packed games featuring the state's top teams and players. The Prep Kickoff Classic is brought to you by Tim Hortons Cafe and Bake Shop, the Marines, community bowling centers, and performance orthopedics. Log on to DetroitSports.org for more information. Swipe left. 
Just wipe what right. What's going on over? Oh, why do you have my dog? Is ordering Hungry Howie's online so easy? Even your couture canine can do it. How many did Mr. Sparkles order? Seven. And dog pizzas. You ordered forty-nine pizzas? <laughs> no, you did. My card was declined. Want a slice or four hundred? Hey, everyone gets a free medium pizza on their next online order with coupon code free one. Now that's an idea. Hungry Howie. <laughs> Thanks for coming back to State Champs. One of the best parts of this job is following what some of our star student athletes do after high school. After kicking Plymouth to a very improbable run to the football state finals in 2010, Kyle Brinza took his talents to the pressure cooker that is Notre Dame. Four years later, he's ready to get paid to help an NFL team win. I caught up with Kyle earlier this week back at his old Plymouth stomping grounds. Let's go in focus. He got it down, and he knocked it through. Kyle Brinza has always been a guy you can depend on. Really shouldn't have surprised anyone that in the final kick of his college career, Kyle drilled the game winner in Notre Dame's Music City Bowl win over LSU. He's been clutch for years. Began back in high school. Plymouth had an amazing run back in 2010. Kyle literally kicked the Wildcats all the way to the state finals. None of us expected it. Even in the first round against Celine, I remember we were, said we were going to get upset. Um, we beat them. Next round, we played Canton. They said they were going to kill us. They beat us 36 0 in the, in the season. We beat them. Then we go play CC. They're supposed to roll over us. You know, we beat them, game winning field goal. And then we go to Rockford, new number one. We're supposed to get beat again. And, you know, we win. Um, but it's, it's those underdog, underdog stories that will stick with you for a lifetime. You've done so much since then, but is it something like that championship run that brings you back and says, wow, this really means more? If I never had that run, and we were kind of knocked out of the first round or maybe the second round, never had that experience on my belt of playing in those huge games and tough situations, pressure, crunch time, I don't think I would have been able to perform at the level I did at, in Division I. Um, you know, step in right away and be able to become a kickoff guy. Uh, and then the next year, end up helping lead the team to the national championship. Uh, if I never had that run here in high school, I don't know if I'd have been able to help a run like that at Notre Dame. Now it's time to go to work and find a home in the NFL. All I'm doing right now is just training and focusing. Uh, I've been, I was training down in Naples, Florida uh, with Ignition, um, my workout facility, as well as uh, my kicking coach, Brandon Cornblue, uh, for about the first two and a half months. Um, went to the combine, performed very well. Uh, and then I went to Pro Day, um, March 31st, and, and I told all these NFL teams, like, hey, just, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna be, you know, at the top of my game come uh, combine. Watch me from my senior year to my combine, tell me how I do, and then remember that, and watch me from my combine to my Pro Day. How much do you want this? Oh, I want it so bad. There, there's no reason why um, I should not want it as bad as I do. I just want the shot, the opportunity, because I know when I when I get that opportunity, I'm just going to run with it. That's how I've always been. Coming into high school, I got the opportunity as a freshman to be on the varsity team, ran with it. Notre Dame, ran with it. And that's how it's going to be at this level. I'm just going to take it and run. We're proud of you, Kyle. I'm Lauren Plant for State Champs. Hey, what's up? It's Sean Belegian. It's time for the Piranis Lacrosse Player of the Year. Hey, listen, we really, really appreciate all the suggestions. Make sure you reach out to us if you feel that we are omitting somebody that deserves consideration. With that being said, some changes already. And thanks to you again for all the suggestions out there. Let's go to the KLAA. Lots of good stuff going out there. Brighton having a good year. Novi having a good year. How about Coach Durham and the Mustangs? They're a top 10 team led by Alec Malucci. This is an all state guy who's raised the bar this year to be sure. He is scoring at a frantic pace. They are going to be a team and he is going to be a player to watch. So once again, be a part of this process and get involved in the Piranis Lacrosse Player of the Year. Without further ado, let's kick it to the west side to Ryan Terpstra. Terp? Hey, thanks, Sean. I'm out at Piranis Hockey World and Lacrosse World in Grand Rapids on 29th Street here with Jovan. And you guys have got all kinds of lacrosse stuff. Tell me about some of the options you have. We have a huge selection of lacrosse sticks and uh, protective gear. And just come on in and we'll give you a help. We'll give you a hand. All right, that's awesome. Now remember, you can vote for our Piranis uh, Lacrosse Player of the Year on our website. That's www.statechampsnetwork.com. So make sure you go out there and do that. And if you're on the west side of the state, come on over to Piranis on 29th Street, right by Breton in Grand Rapids. 
Hey guys, spring sports are in full swing, so make sure to follow us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, we have it all. Coming up next are highlights from the diamond. At Lawrence Technological University, you'll go way beyond the books. Professors with real-world experience deliver hands-on instruction in small classes, helping students land co-ops, internships, and research projects. By graduation, 80% of LTU students have jobs or plans to pursue master's degrees. And most Lawrence Tech grads earn more than their peers. So if you're ready to embrace your possibilities, we want you at LTU. We're the Cronin Law Firm, bringing more to the table. When we sit down together, we share our expertise. You've got a legal problem, we know you need relief. Advice that you can trust, that's why people come to us. We're the Cronin Law Firm, bringing more to the table. Hey, it's lacrosse season, and Piranis is your lacrosse headquarters. Piranis offers lacrosse equipment for boys and girls and has everything for beginners, advanced players, and your entire team. Come to Piranis for the largest selection, their experienced, knowledgeable staff, and simply the best price guaranteed. Visit one of their convenient locations or log on to lacrosseworld.com and shop online. It's always lacrosse season at Piranis. Listen to what customers are saying about Hoot McInerney's all-new Star Lincoln. I've never been treated better. Star eliminates all the hassles of leasing a new Lincoln. I shopped around, and Star gave me the best price I found on a Lincoln MKC. Now I understand what they're talking about when they say, experience the Star treatment. Hoot McInerney's all-new Star Lincoln, 12 Mile Road, just east of Telegraph. Best price, smart choice, and you get the Star treatment. Welcome back to State Champs. If you are looking to differentiate yourself to future employers or graduate programs, look no further than the Lawrence Tech Quest Program. The Quest Program gives you the opportunity to pursue your passion in music, art, science, or literature outside of the classroom. It's a great way to try out a career you might be interested in. Oh, okay. You can choose your own project as well as the Quest Guide you'd like to work with. And when you graduate, your Quest experience can really make you stand out with the employers and grad schools you want to impress. Here are some examples of past and ongoing Quest projects at Lawrence Tech. Synthesizing contrast agents for visualizing articular cartilage with the Orthopedic Research Laboratories of Beaumont Hospital. Investigating the biologically active compounds and the fluid of carnivorous pitcher plants. Staging, directing, and acting in the play Arsenic and Old Lace. Studying the recall mechanisms of sound in working memory. Studying the effects of laser illumination on gold nanoparticles. Developing and designing the video game Operation Fire Rescue. Exploring electrode materials for the advanced lithium ion batteries with the General Motors Technical Center. Quest gives you the chance to change your life and just maybe the world. To learn more about things that you can do outside of the classroom at Lawrence Tech, head to ltu.edu. Hey guys, I'm Ryan Terpstra and we begin the cycle in Comstock Park. Panthers in the mix this season for their third straight OK Blue title. Standing in their way in this game was league rival Allendale. Bottom of the second, Comstock Park up to bat, and a man on third for Nick Tarowski. He shoots one through the infield. Jared Wolford scores, and it's 1-0 Park. Next inning, same situation for Jarrett Yeager, and the senior dumps it into left center. Randy Datamo will come on home, and it's 2-0 Panthers. Now, bases loaded for Comstock Park. Naughton up again, and this shot off the bat is too hot to handle. Two runs will score for Comstock Park, who also got a complete game shutout from Killian Pressler en route to a 4 0 win over Allendale. I'm Ryan Terpstra, and to continue the cycle, we go back to Lorne. 
Thanks, Ryan. Midland Bullet Creek made the two-hour trip down south to Comerica Park to take on North Farmington for the second time in as many years. Bullet Creek in white coming in at five and two, bottom three, pulling off the double steal. Jacob Avery just beating the tag at home. Wow, Lancers led one to nothing after the third. With a nine and two record, North Farmington won this game a season ago. They responded in the fifth. Jared Fish getting it done at the dish. Brett Kramer all the way around to score. Raiders down a run. Not for long, to the sixth. Kramer killing it for the stand-up triple. Josh Goldberg is in and we were knotted at three. Might as well play nine since you're at Comerica, right? Bullet Creek took advantage, trying to break a 4-4 tie. Zach Radosa, the base hit up the gut, scoring Garrett Radosa. Midland Bullet Creek beats North Farmington 6-5 the final. And to softball, Mac Red matchup, Utica Eisenhower welcoming in the Romeo Bulldogs. Ranked ninth in Division I, Romeo in black came out barking. Already up two zip in the second, the freshman Darcy Bianic deposits this one into right. Brianna Ollie on her horse, beats the throw, Bulldogs up three. Same at bat, the senior Aaron Barg contributing. Alexis Jandreski and Bianic find their way home. Bulldogs led five to nothing. Eisenhower with an impressive 12 and three record to start 2015. Fresh off winning the Macomb County Classic. Bottom three, Kayla Lachieri, the shot into open spaces and a triple. Alexandra Jotsis is in as part of a three run inning for the Eagles. Ike trailed six to four. That is as close as it would get. One through nine of the Romeo lineup swinging successfully. Jandreski rips it to left for a two bagger. Two come across as well. They dropped a six pack in the inning. Utica Eisenhower falls to Romeo by a 12-4 final. This week's cycle is in the books. Hey, everybody, let's stay in softball. Welcome in Tom Markowski of State Champ Sports Network and give you an update in our UAW Chrysler High School Softball Player of the Year race. This has been really exciting. First time we've ever done this. Actually, it's the first female a category that we've ever uh, honored a Player of the Year award for. So we have a new entrant this week. Who is she? Kaylin Glenfield out of Garden City, only a junior, committed to Western Michigan, batting over 500. All right, so coming out of Garden City, we also have two more players we want to talk about. Uh, one of them is one of our leading vote getters right now. It's Alex Sobject, and it's this person. Alex Sorgi out of Utica Ford, a fine center fielder, really a speedy center fielder. She's eight out of eight on steel tries this year, batting 432, uh, really having a tremendous year. Great student to uh, in the classroom, 3.87 vote for her. She's at the top right now. All right, and who else? Well, we also have Kayla LeCarrie out of Utica Eisenhower. Another shortstop, a great all-around player. Coach was telling me does everything really well. Although she doesn't think she's playing as well as she could be, she's hitting 444, slugging percentage over 700. All right, go to the website, statechampsnetwork.com. You can vote for your favorite. Right now, our top 10 are there for you. It's what you've been waiting for. It's main event time here as Sterling Heights Stevenson takes on Gross Point South in baseball. Stay with us to see how it all went down. Fundraising should be fresh, flavorful, and simple. We have the perfect solution at Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. Your nonprofit organization can sell paper pizza certificates that your customers can redeem for one medium pizza at participating Hungry Howie's locations. Go to doughraiser.com to learn about, sign up for, and order everything Dough Razor. Request a Dough Razor kit for your group today. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Welcome to Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. I'm Drew Brees, and being a dad means the world to me. And one of the most important things any parent can do is make sure their kids get active at least 60 minutes each day. Studies show that physical activity not only helps kids stay healthy, it can enhance important skills like concentration and problem solving, which can improve academic performance. This means physical activity can help your kids in the most important game of all, life. Let's dance on, let's dance on, let's dance on, let's dance on. 
The Detroit Sports Commission Prep Kickoff Classic, presented by Tim Hortons Cafe and Bake Shop, returns to the campus of Wayne State University August 27th through the 29th with three days of action-packed games featuring the state's top teams and players. The Prep Kickoff Classic is brought to you by Tim Hortons Cafe and Bake Shop, the Marines, community bowling centers, and performance orthopedics. Log on to DetroitSports.org for more information. Welcome back to State Champs. Baseball takes center stage for our Detroit Sports Commission main event. A matchup of two teams ranked in the top 10 in the state and two teams from the MAC Red Conference. Big things expected from Gross Point South and Sterling Heights Stevenson this year. Let's see how this one turned out. Second time in three days at Gross Point South and Sterling Heights, Stevenson squared off on the diamond. Stevenson won 7-3 on Monday, had the bats pinging in the top of the first. The senior Greg McDade sending it the opposite way. Fellow senior Riley McCauley hustling from first. Stevenson laid down a six spot in the first. That tightened momentum carried into the second. Two runners on for the senior Tristan Jora. The drive deep to the wall, part of a six RBI day for Jora. Sterling Heights Stevenson now up eight zip. Stevenson back at it in the third. Ducks on the pond for one of our baseball player of the year candidates. The Michigan State recruit McCauley comes through. Frank DeCenzo is in. Sterling Heights Stevenson cruises to a 19-3 final. And how about special congratulations to Stevenson head coach Joey Manuel. This was his 400th career coaching victory. Stephanie caught up with the skipper on this big win and special day. 400th win for you tonight. You're maintaining first place. What does this mean? To get a win like this against a guy that I really respect, Dan Griesbaum, you know, a guy that we tried to emulate when we were young, it was, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a neat thing for us. The main event is presented by the Detroit Sports Commission, dedicated to enhancing the local economy and the image of Metro Detroit, hosting amateur sporting events. Go to DetroitSports.org for details. That's our show for this week. Seven more shows for the 2014-2015 school year. Stay connected with us all week long by going to social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. We're on it all. Of course, statechampsnetwork.com. It's the online home for everything high school sports in the state of Michigan. See what Tom Markowski is writing about. Vote in our contests and catch up with everything you might have missed. We'll see you next week right here on the original high school sports show, State Champs. State Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. Hungry Howie, your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Go to DoughRaiser.com for details. The Detroit Sports Commission, where champions are made and championships are played. Log on to DetroitSports.org. Our friends with the UAW and Chrysler, Pirani's Hockey and Lacrosse World. Over 20 Michigan locations. Go to LacrosseWorld.com for info.